we're located here in the Sand Hills of North Carolina, which is a subset of the longleaf pine ecosystem, it being a fire ecosystem. My family uh, has been working with fire for five generations. Uh, historically, we, we began our relationship with fire through turpentine. That's what we did as, as a family. We located here to where we are today in 1870, following the turpentine industry. And what would happen is when they were getting ready to go into a new, what they call orchard, new stand of trees to tap, uh, in advance of that, they would burn it to clear back all the underbrush to make sure that it was easy to get in and, and, and work. But the real part about uh, where my family enters it, besides the turpentine, is that it was just part of the culture that anyone who lived in the sand hills understood. And that is, you made sure that your structure was fire-wise, and you made sure you knew how to fight a fire. And my mom, on many occasions, has told me about it as being a little girl going over and sitting on top of the barn and watching most of our fires come in out of the west. That's just because that's where the prevailing wind is. So most of the wildfires would come in out of the west and they would just go down to the creek that's running north and south and just set a backfire and let it pull into the uh, head fire of the approaching wildfire and, and move it off to the, the south away from doing any damage. So it was just part of it, the culture that everyone understood was to protect your house and to know what to do to fight a fire. 